Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and there is a brand new blog post on the jungle from Epic, and it is a doozy. It is so much different in the jungle with the release of Monolith. It's, I'm uh, blown away, honestly. But as you guys know, the jungler on the team is uh, the guy who goes around the jungle, obviously, and gets his card points and experience from killing jungle camps, buffs, and helping his teammates out in their lane, you know, getting a gank or something like that. But there is a lot different and a lot of new changes coming to Monolith and the jungle. There's now a strong side and a weak side. The strong side is actually next to the safe lane and it's called the strong side because it has more minion camps and also has access to the new buff. And there's also a jump pad on the strong side that you can use to get to the weak side faster. They don't really talk about what the jump pad is just that it gets you over to the other side of the map faster. So I assume it's like a teleport device, maybe? Don't quote me on that. So basically maximizing your mobility and having effective routes throughout the jungle will be huge because we're not gonna have travel mode, obviously, so. But there is something that kind of will help boost your movement speed, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, there's still regular white jungle camps, but now they will have a reinforcement buddy who um, comes in at regular intervals and that eventually caps as well so you're actually you, you need to clear out your jungles before it caps because you're technically losing out on experience if you don't do that one of the most exciting changes is the new green buff which is basically replacing red buff there's no more red buff on monolith if you didn't know uh, the green buff is the brand new one so once you get the green buff, it will give you a shield. And every time you are hit with that shield on, it will apply damage to the attackers. And once it's once the shield is done, it will actually explode and deal damage to nearby enemies. It helps with clearing out the jungle camps and things of that nature. And um, you'll also be able, you know, tower dive. It kind of is like black buff too, in the sense that it will have damage over time to towers. And you'll also be able to put a little bit of damage on overextended heroes. Also, a huge difference is that there are no longer harvesters. Instead, we have a mechanic called the Amber Link. And when the match starts, your team already has control of it, so you don't have to worry about placing it like a harvester. It's, it's just part of it. And over time, it will fill with card power, and it will take it and distribute it automatically at regular times to your team. And it also fills with the more jungle camps that you take out. So you get more card experience put into those Amber Links the more times you kill jungle camps. Honestly, you're gonna wanna read the full blog to get a complete understanding of what the Link really is and just how big of an update to the jungle Monolith is bringing. I'll probably have to actually read it a couple of times too and look at the pictures just to comprehend how much is changing and as always, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check out the blog. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.